In Iowa, Wesleyan's origins trace longer than Iowa has been a state. It was called Mount Pleasant Literary Institute when it opened, and you can see the year there on its emblem. That was before Iowa earned statehood in 1846. But last month, Iowa Wesleyan was deep in debt, and the trustees could not figure out a way to pay the bills and then figure out how to survive for the future. So the college is closing at the end of the academic year. And since the college had loans backed by the USDA, then essentially the agriculture department will own what's left of the campus. Secretary Vilsack told me that he hopes they will not have to sell this campus off piece by piece. You know, the initial reaction would be, well, you start parceling off the campus and you sell one building or one home or whatever. Don't want them to do that. I don't want them to start there. Now, Vilsack said Iowa Wesleyan is a critical economic force for Mount Pleasant, which is a town of about 9,200 people. Selling the facility as a whole, he hopes, can best assure that it all remains then as a larger piece of economic potential for the future. So we asked him what could possibly replace this shutdown college. I'd like them to start uh, working with the college to see whether or not there are other universities or colleges that might be interested. Are there other folks who might be interested in a campus of some kind? Um, are there um, agencies uh, of the federal government, for example, that might be thinking about training facilities? And could this be an opportunity? I th I think people need to think creatively at this point. Uh, he did point out that his agency does not have a need for something this big. Now, his wife, Christy, used to teach at Iowa Wesleyan, and she had been serving on the board of trustees so in the past, Tom Vilsack had recused himself with matters concerning Iowa Wesleyan's USDA loans and then just with these recent developments. But he told me that his wife has since stepped down for the board, so that's why he can now talk about this and then also get involved in its future redevelopment.